everyone, welcome back to another theatre vlog. Uh, starting the vlog outside tonight, which is not ideal, but that's what's going to happen. I am currently outside the Southwark Playhouse because I'm going to see Pippin tonight and I'm very excited to see the show again. I saw it in Manchester back in September when it was at the Hope Mill Theatre and this is obviously the production transferring into the Southwark Playhouse and I cannot wait. I can't wait to see this show again and it's got most of the same cast members as well so yes I'm very excited to see them all again and to see how it is at the Southwark Playhouse. I really really like the Southwark Playhouse so I'm happy to be back. I went to see Barnum this afternoon at the Many a Chocolate Factory. I took Sean to see it as a little birthday treat. This vlog will be going up before that one because um, Barnum is sadly closing this weekend and I've already got a Barnum vlog up, blah, 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 blah. Basically, I'm seeing Pippin tonight and I'm very excited. I booked my ticket through, well, I've purchased the Southwark Playhouse's pay-as-you-go subscription, but you basically pay 60 pounds, I think. That sounds right, £60, and then you can get five tickets at the value of £12. So, yes, they had their press night last night. I was going to try and come sooner, but I thought to get the most value for money, I would come post press night because this is such a tangent, I'm sorry. Their press night tickets, no, their previews tickets, sorry, are £14 across the board, and then obviously when it's post press night, it gets a bit pricier. So, I'm getting more value for money by coming post press night um i hope that makes sense but basically yeah my ticket was essentially 12 pounds but also it wasn't because i didn't have to pay because i've already paid the subscription service anyway wow that was quite the tangent i apologize it's snowing in london it's fairly chilly i think i've warmed up because i walked from the mini air to here so i think that's warmed me up a bit even though i almost fell over twice so had a couple of mini heart attacks but i'm good i'm alive so yeah let's go into the theater <laughs> Now the interval of Pippin. I've just popped outside without my coat. What a mistake, it's freezing. <laughs> I'm having such a good time. Uh, this show is like even better than it was in Manchester. So I loved it in Manchester. And uh, I'm really excited to see it again. So to be seeing it again is wonderful. Genevieve Nicole, I am obsessed. Like she's so, it's literally snowing right now. It's so cold, I need to go back inside. Um, Genevieve Nicole is amazing, I'm obsessed. Um, also Mary, I think, I think I'm saying her name right. Mary Barclay, uh, she plays like Fristrada and Pippin's grandmother and is in the ensemble and she's just hilarious. Like she literally steals the show with her number as Pippin's grandmother and she's so funny. So, so funny. Um, I love seeing the set again. I love, oh, I just love the style of it all. It's really windy. Sorry if this is affecting the sound. And I'm just having such a good time. And I've literally just checked onto Datix for tickets to come back. So yeah, that will be happening at some point. Oh, this show is so good. I'm gonna go back in the warm now because it is cold. Hello 
everyone, welcome back to the chatty section of the vlog. As you saw, I went to see Pippin at the Southwark Playhouse. I saw Pippin at the Hope Mill Theatre in Manchester last September. If you want to go watch that vlog, you can check it out by clicking up here, and that will also be linked in the description. And I was really excited when it was announced that it would be transferring over to the Southwark Playhouse because I was really excited to see the show again. I really enjoyed it when it was up in Manchester, and obviously the Southwark Playhouse is much closer to home. So I was really looking forward to seeing it again. At the start of this year, I purchased the pay as you go subscription service that the Southwark Playhouse offer. And that means you pay 60 pounds and then you can get five tickets for shows and it's not uh, limited. It's not like a time limit. So you can use them over the span of three months, a year, five years. I don't know, however many, visits you want to make. So I've actually already used, I've used a few of my tickets already in terms of pre-booking stuff and then this visit to Pippin because yeah, I was really excited to see it. So obviously I was gonna book a ticket. I was really excited as well because pretty much the same cast were doing it this time round and I really loved watching them in Manchester. So exciting times all around. The Southwark Playhouse is obviously a larger venue than the Hope Mill Theatre so I was really intrigued as to how they were going to do it, if they were going to do it the same as the Hope Mill Theatre. The layouts of both theatres are fairly similar from my experience of the Hope Mill Theatre seeing Pip in there anyway. So they basically have like a raised sort of platform stage for Pippin that is a thrust stage I think that's the right term and then you've got the audience on three sides around the stage and so they have the same layout for both which I really enjoyed because I think that raised platform sounds a bit silly but it adds a lot to the show especially one like this. The performers are a mix of performing obviously but then at times they're also observing from sort of below the stage so they're either sitting on the the steps that lead up to the seats in the Southwark Playhouse or just kind of at the bottom of the stage so it adds a really fun dynamic and I'm really glad they kept that. The show has a really strong vaudeville theme which obviously makes sense because it's it's about a group of players obviously touring a show so I really liked that they kept the raid stage and also the design of the stage I really I love that style, I think it looks beautiful. For those of you who don't know, the story of Pippin is about Prince Pippin and his father, King Charlemagne. And it's about Pippin sort of coming of age and trying to find what fulfills him in life, what his purpose is. So it goes through different stages of him, like fighting in wars and seeing if glory is his thing and then going through stages of lust and then love. So there's a few different themes involved in the show and the way it's told is a tiny bit confusing, I'm not gonna lie. It confused me the first time round and now seeing it a second time, I get the book more. I have read from other people that have seen the show that the book has confused them and I can seriously see why that's the case. It's confusing because the roles that the performers play are sort of blurred in a sense. So you have the main group of players and then the role of Pippin almost joins them fresh at the start of the show. So it kind of feels like he is joining the company as a newbie, but then obviously it kind of blurs into the the actual story characters as well. And then the end is a bit ambiguous. I'm not gonna spoil anything, obviously. It's kind of open to her interpretation. And I think that's confused a lot of people. With the second viewing, I did sort of enjoy it more without being confused, but obviously most people won't be able to do return visits. So it's kind of a shame, but I'd like to think that upon reflection and more thinking about it, that you kind of be able to piece things together. As I mentioned, I was really, really excited to see this cast again because I thought they were phenomenal up in Manchester. And as I said, it's pretty much the same group again. I think the standout of the show for me has to be Genevieve Nicole as the leading player. Oh my God, she's just, incredible what a phenomenal actress her singing is stunning like it's so powerful she has so much control over the stage like without even really doing not doing much that sounds like a bad thing but she doesn't she doesn't have to force that power it just comes quite naturally to her just the way she like stalks through the story i'm obsessed with it and 
I know that originally the leading player was played by a man and now I just can't imagine it being anyone else but Genevieve Nicole because she does it so well. I think if I were to see anyone else doing it, I'd just be disappointed to be honest. When I saw Pippin up in Manchester, I wasn't really blown away by Jonathan Carlton's performance as Pippin. It's not to say that he was bad at all, like he's a really good actor. There was just something about it and maybe it's to do with being a little bit confused as to what was happening with the story that probably had an effect on it. But seeing it this time around, I was so, so, so impressed by his performance, especially his vocals. I mean, oh, Pippin has amazing music. It's written by Stephen Schwartz. So if you know me, you know I'm an absolute wicked fangirl. So there's obviously similarities. It's probably why I love the music as much as I do. But yeah, hearing Jonathan Carlton singing those songs, I genuinely just had like goosebumps. So many of the music moments. I was genuinely, I mean, it was pretty cold in the Southwark Playhouse, not gonna lie, but I could tell, I was like, no. These are like, oh my God, goosebumps, not just, oh wow, I'm cold, goosebumps. <laughs> so yeah, it was really lovely to see Jonathan as Pippin. And I am excited to see the show again because I will be going to see the show again. <laughs> I know I mentioned her quite a bit in the previous Pippin vlog, but I once again have to talk about Mari Barkley because she is just so good. So, so good. She plays the role of Fastrada, so that's Pippin's stepmother, and also um, Bertha, I think that's how you say her name, and that's Pippin's grandmother. She has one of the best numbers in the show with no time at all. It was so fun at the Hope Mill Theatre, and it's even more fun now because they've added more choruses in at the end, so everyone gets to sing along. Sometimes I'm thinking like, oh, that's a bit cheesy for everyone to sing along in the theatre, but in this, scenario with a song as like great as this I was having the best time singing along it felt great and her acting oh my gosh she absolutely slays me it's so so funny I mean just go to see her because she's so brilliant honestly I'm definitely going to be watching out for her now to see what show she's in in the future because she's got an amazing voice but also incredible comedy, a brilliant stage presence. So that's another thing I really like about this show actually. It's mostly like really young people. They're probably the same age as me and that kind of makes me depressed because what am I doing with my life? <laughs> but no, they're so talented and it's really nice to see shows like this and then obviously get to know like not newbies in the industry, but you know, like new people to follow in the industry and then see different shows because of that. Someone else who I really love in this show is Bradley Judge as Lewis and obviously one of the players. He plays uh, Pippin's stepbrother and so funny. Everyone's so good in this show. It kind of makes me angry, <laughs> but they're just so talented, so brilliant. And they work together so well. It's a really small cast. I think there's only 10 of them in total. I think it's really nice that they've They've obviously worked on the piece a lot having done it in Manchester, but they just get what they're doing so well and I think it's all really well put together. The choreography of this show is really fun as well because obviously it's kind of, it's not an old show, but it has old themes to it and going back to sort of the vaudeville kind of styles. So it's really nice that it has more modern styles mixed in with more like classic styles. I really enjoy how they've molded those together. There's especially one piece, can't remember off the top of my head which song it is now, but they break into sort of, I think it's part of the original choreography from Pippin. It's like a nice homage to the original production. And even though the way it goes is kind of, it's quite random. That's the right way to phrase it because it is, it's just very random in where it's placed. But I don't know, there's something really nice about it. It's nice to see that sort of classic choreography mixed in with the new. I love the lighting of this show as well. I forgot that I needed to mention that. So it's very similar to how they had it at the Hope Mill Theatre. One thing I really adore, they have, I don't know my technical terms for lighting, I'm not gonna lie to you, but they have this sort of like strip of lighting above the, like the faux proscenium, which also looks really nice. Once again, obsessed with the stage design. So yeah, they've got like a strip of lighting and they use it in so many different ways. And I just really, really enjoy that. It's something I've not really seen in a lot of shows. And I think especially when you're working in sort of smaller venue, you ca you kind of have to be really creative in what you have and how you're using it. And that's something I 
really liked about this show. They made one little change in terms of the design and lighting that I didn't love, and that was some additional lights around sort of the auditorium ceiling. I'm really struggling with how to describe these lights. I guess they were like little spots, I guess, but they would like flash loads in a couple of scenes. And I didn't love that because I felt like it was shocking me more than anything, not really adding as much. I feel like the scenes that they were used in would have been perfectly fine without them. So if I were to say one bad thing about this show, that was it. Also that the Southwark Playhouse was really cold, but there's not a huge amount that the cast can do about that. And oh my God, with the costumes that this cast have to wear, how they were not freezing, I do not know. <laughs> Whenever I come to edit a video later on, I'm always like, should have mentioned this, should have mentioned that. Fairly sure, once again, I've forgotten about things, but obviously I really enjoyed this show. I wouldn't have gone back to it otherwise, and I wouldn't be thinking right now, when can I next see it again? So that tells you everything, doesn't it? There's one more thing that I have to mention about this show. It's not necessarily about the production in terms of the show itself, what's going on in the theater, but it's just something really wonderful that I feel like I need to mention about the sort of ethos and values of this company and this production. So when I saw the production in Manchester, there was a girl in the ensemble called Olivia Faulkner and she was meant to join the London production, but she sadly passed away last year. And the show could have easily not mentioned her in the program or anything, but they have. And I think it's so wonderful. Olivia's parents have set up a foundation to go towards helping performers with mental health issues and, you know, just overcoming those. And it's just the most touching note in a program that I've ever seen. I'm gonna link their foundation in the description. So if you want to, if you can donate any amount of money, then I'm sure they would really appreciate it. And I think it's a wonderful thing for them to have done, to have mentioned it in the program. I believe proceeds from the show are going to the foundation as well. And she was so young, it's, it, it's a real sad thing. And I just think it's a really wonderful thing for them to say, she's not part of this show that you've watched, but she is absolutely 100% part of the show still. I would love to know if you've been to see Pippin at the Southwark Playhouse, or if you managed to see it at the Hope Mill Theatre in Manchester. By the way, you should absolutely be following the Hope Mill Theatre. Seems like there is so much exciting stuff going on up there. So if you can ever make the trip up to Manchester, or if you're in Manchester, you absolutely need to visit this theatre. As I say, let me know what you thought of the show, if you've been to see it, or if you're booked to see it, you know, I would love to know. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of me in the future. I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.